How are we doing, guys? And welcome back to All East TV. Of course, this is absolutely superb news. It's another signing. It's a third signing of the transfer window. This is what we are now, Leeds United. Um, it's just great. It's a great start to the transfer window. What are we on? The 17th of June, I think it is. We've got three new signings through the door. And this is another signing that I'm very happy with. I should say the signing is, to be fair. I've got, what, 25 seconds in. I've not even said it was signed. We have signed Mark Rucker from Bayern Munich. So, yeah, we're going to discuss that. We're going to discuss that again. It's a little bit unexpected in terms of the timing. I know it's been mentioned. I think there was bits of mentions um, that it was going to be in the weekend it would be announced, possibly, or even Monday. But it's been announced today. Um, so it has caught me a little bit by surprise, this one. But look, the link to Mark Rocker has been doing the rounds for weeks now, really, at least the last sort of two weeks or so. He's been mentioned a lot um, in terms of being a possible signing for these United. And look, we have got this one over the line. In terms of the fee, in terms of the fee, I think it was um, 10 million is the fee, uh, understood to be worth 10 million on a four year deal. That's pretty significant, though, a four-year deal. You know, you look at Mark Rocker's age, um, it's pretty significant that we've managed to tie him down to such a significant period of time. And this is a really fun signing. This is a signing that can signal a new style of play. He's a different style of midfielder to what we are currently working with and um, probably have worked with for a long, 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 long time. You know, I think arguably you could go back to probably Olivier Decor since we've had a midfielder similar to Mark Rocker, someone who can put his foot on the ball and control the tempo of a football match. You know, that's what Mark Rocker does. He's your typical, stereotypical Spanish midfielder, someone who's going to play 60, 70 passes a game and really control the football match. And look, we might not necessarily be a possession-based team under Jesse Marsh, but it's going to give us control at key times in games. You know, I saw so many times last season where games became basketball matches under Marsh and Bielsa, to be fair. Rock gives you that something a little bit different. He allows us to keep the ball a little bit better and sustain attacks, sustain pressure on the opposition and be the, be the protagonist in football matches, which is what we've always wanted to be under Bielsa. And I think that's what we want to be under Jesse Marsh. This is certainly the signing that it suggests. So, yeah, I've obviously, you guys know, I watch a lot of Spanish football. I have seen Mark Rocker play quite a few times for Espanyol, and I'm not going to exaggerate, he was one of the stars in the Liga in terms of in terms of young talent, certainly in terms of young talent, in terms of midfielders. But yes, it was two years ago. I'm not going to deny that. It was two years ago, but he was superb for Espanyol. Let's not get that twisted at all. He was superb for Espanyol, especially in the big games, which is where I tended to see him play against your Barcelona's, your Real Madrid's, your Atletico Madrid's. He more than held his own. In a league of such high technical quality, that's very, very impressive that you can stand out in that kind of respect because there's so many midfielders of Mark Rocker's style in that league. So for him to stand out there is very, very impressive. So yeah, I've watched, again, there's not a lot of footage to go off with Bayern Munich because let's be honest, he hasn't played a lot in the last two years. But Bayern Munich fans, the general consensus seems to be quite gutted that he's left the club. They were impressed by what they saw based on the minutes they saw in play. So that is something to, to take into consideration. Now, yes, there'll be mentions that when we have brought players in from other top European clubs who haven't played much, it hasn't worked in the last couple of years. But I just think there's something different with Mark Rocker. And yes, we might have said this a couple of times, but there is genuinely something different with Mark Rocker. It's the fact that the club he's leaving are genuinely good to see him go. And he did make an impact in the games he played this season. You know, reading up on a couple of bits and pieces when he has stepped into the, the midfield, when Kimmich or Goretzka have been missing for Bayern Munich, he's impressed. And Bayern's form hasn't dropped off at all. The performances have stayed the same. And he's been very impressive in midfield. So it does feel different. Spain wanted to call him up to the Olympic squad last summer, even though he hadn't played much football. He actually rejected that to try and get himself match fit for the Bayern Munich team. And his attitude is being massively praised by Julian Nagelsmann. He looks like someone you really want in your team um, in terms of attitude, in terms of application, in terms of everything he can kind of give you on the football pitch. I just feel that I feel good about this. I really do feel good about this. And now he's ours. And now he is ours. And that's the, that's the main thing. But for me, he is the real deal. I really do think he's the real deal. You guys will know I've spoken about the midfield depth quite a lot 
I've spoken about the midfield depth quite a lot in the last year, not just the last year, actually, even last season, despite us finishing ninth in the table and to, the, to an extent in the Championship. We've lacked a bit of depth in midfield. You know, I think the fact me and Phil did the player ratings for the midfielders, and we only have four midfielders to rate over the whole season in terms of who have played enough minutes. That kind of sums it up, doesn't it? But we've added to that depth really, really well already. You know, in terms of Brendan Aronson, yes, he's a bit more of an attack-minded midfielder, but he can still kind of play there if needs be. But Mark Rock is a specialist. He's a specialist in his position. You know, where we're, where we're going to play him, I'd imagine, because we do seem to have switched to a 4 2 3 1 under Jesse Marsh, or we might even switch to a 4 2 2 2. Um, how many twos to say that? I don't know, but you know what I mean. Four, treble two, whatever you want, to, whichever way you want to put it. Either way, it looks like we're going to start games with a midfield two. We're not going to have like a single pivot, like the Calvin role to an extent. And we're going to get on to Calvin in a second. Mark Rocker in the midfield two is used to playing that position for Espanyol. I will add as well, not a particularly possession-based team in Espanyol. He won't be that bothered by the fact that he will have to do a bit of defending as well. We're not always going to have the ball. He's going to have to defend counter-attacks, etc., etc. He's going to have to... Listen, the defensive side of his game is probably something that does need to improve on top of everything. Not so much in terms of his desire. There's no problem with his desire. He's a very tenacious player. In fact, from a time to time, he can go over the top. I think he's picked up three red cards at Espanyol in three seasons, which is pretty... Quite a lot, really, when you think about it. It's more the physical side, you know, in terms of his recovery pace, in terms of his general strength. That is something he probably does need to work on a little bit. But to be fair, at Bayern Munich, I think his conditioning is a lot better. Just on a few clips I've seen of him, he seems to be able to shrug off challenges a lot easier. Um, and yeah, I think his ability to get up and down the pitch is much, much better as well. General stamina, and I think that's going to be key for any Jesse Marsh midfielder in this system. But he can put his foot on the ball as well. He can play the game at his own pace, which is something we've needed for a long time, really. You know, I said before, Olivier de Cours, probably the last player we've truly had at the top level, at the top level, who can do that. Um, and he's a similar player in that kind of respect. I think if you are, you know, my age or a little bit older, you'll know what I kind of mean by an Olivier de Cours kind of player, an all round that can put his foot in, good on the ball, controls a football match, and just injects that bit of class into a game which is something that um, I think we need. I think we need the midfield for a while. You know, I think Calvin, Mateus Click, um, Stuart Dallas was his played there, et cetera, et cetera. All these different midfielders have been absolutely fantastic for us. But Mark Rocker's a different type of midfield. Not necessarily better. That's not what I'm necessarily saying, but it gives us a different dynamic. He could be better. He could definitely be better, but he gives us a different dynamic in that midfield. And I think he's a perfect fit. You know, if you think of a, hopefully, and I will get onto it in a second, but he is a good fit. He is a good fit um, for this Leeds United team. I do feel he will play in that double pivot on the left, you know, left-footed, um, centre-mid. I feel he will play on the left of the midfield too. Now, there is an almighty elephant in the room here, an almighty elephant in the room, and uh, you guys can probably guess it. I kind of have already mentioned it. Um, it's the future of Calvin Phillips, isn't it? It's the future of Calvin Phillips. You know, is this a Calvin Phillips replacement? Is this someone to play alongside Calvin Phillips? Who knows at this stage? For me, he can be both, if needs be. can be both. He's not, he's not the same type of midfielder as Calvin Phillips, but we don't play... Under Jesse Marsh, we haven't played Calvin in that single pivot. We've played him in a two, where he's got a little bit more attacking responsibility, a little bit less defensive responsibility. He's playing the midfield two. He's sharing it out a little bit more. He can certainly play alongside Calvin as well. And look at a potential midfield of Calvin, Rocker, Brendan Aronson. I think, wow, <laughs> wow, kind of thing. That is, that is absolutely unreal, to be fair, compared to the other teams outside the top six. That's pretty special in terms of technical quality, work rate, pressing. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely spot on in that kind of respect. So, yes, it is a question. Is he a Calvin Phillips replacement? He's not a like-for-like -like Calvin Phillips player, but he can play in the same position, if that makes sense. But he won't give you the same kind of qualities. You know, he won't give you those same kind of qualities, but he'll give you different qualities in that kind of respect. So it's an interesting one. And I think time will tell on that. You know, obviously we've read Phil Hay was kind of alluding to the fact that it looks like we're going to sign another midfielder um, as well if we lose Calvin. So that suggests that he isn't a Calvin replacement in that kind of respect. So that's interesting. That's very, very interesting. But... I think we've addressed three things here. The midfield depth, 
a different profile type midfielder in the team and just another high potential player another high potential player I really like our recruitment methods this this summer so far I really like it you know in terms of yes it's a little bit different to Brendan Aronson and Rasmus Christensen Rasmus Christensen and Brendan Aronson are very much on the up they've been relentlessly on the up for the last two or three years in terms of career progression Mark Rock is a little bit different he's kind of already been on the up for Espanyol because let's be honest, we wouldn't be able to sign him from Espanyol. At the time at Espanyol, it's the fact he went to Bayern Munich you need to look at as well. He is be- His potential is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, Mark Rocker. The fact that he signed for Bayern Munich as a 20-year-old, as a replacement for Thiago Alcantara, absolutely unbelievable. And it wasn't just Bayern Munich he had after him. I think Arsenal were after him as well. A couple of other clubs at Barcelona, I think, mentioned at one point too. It's about getting back to that level. Let's not forget that. It's about getting back to that level. But if he gets the game time, I personally back him. Yes, it's going to be a tough adaptation into this league, into a different style of football. But you've seen, you know, likes of Declan Rice, you know, in terms of technical players, Jao Moutinho, you know, just looking at midfielders outside the top six, they add something to their teams. And I just think Mark Rocker adds that little bit of quality, that little bit of class, that composure on the ball. He can make it so much easier for us building out the back and get us playing the wonderful football that we played in the first Premier League season. I think that's what I kind of missed, that little bit of quality, that little bit of class in midfield. Yeah, I think we've had that work rate. It's been absolutely phenomenal in midfield. It was last season, despite our struggles. The work rate was no problem at all. But he adds that class to it now as well. Let's just go for Mark Rocker's statement on signing for Leeds United. I'm just going to read that out now. Um, I stayed at Bayern for two years and I want to play more games. It's a good opportunity for me to be here and I'm very happy. You always know about Leeds and their history. It's an incredible team, an incredible atmosphere at Ellen Road. Everybody talks about it and I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I I think it's a good move for Mark Rocker as well, by the way, because I look at Mark Rocker. There's a World Cup approaching. We know Luz Enrique, Spain boss, likes to give midfielders opportunities. He likes to rotate his squad a little bit. Maybe, maybe over a run of games, he can get that opportunity, just like Calvin did in the England team. But yeah, I'll say it again. I really, really like this one, guys. I really like his signing. I like his attitude. I like everything I've read about him, everything I've seen of Mark Rocker. If we can get a player anywhere near the level he was at at Espanyol, We've got a really, really, really promising footballer on, on our hands here. But guys, let us know in the comments. What do you think? What do you think? Is this a replacement for Calvin Phillips? Um, listen, time will tell. Time will tell. If it was to be Calvin's replacement, um, would I be okay with that? Yes. Yeah, I would. But let me just caveat. We would still need someone else alongside Mark Rocker, who can specialise in the defensive side of the game, who can be the player who covers Mark Rocker, you know, in terms of the more defensive-minded midfielder. I do think that as well. But I feel like from what Phil Hayes said, we will go for that anyway. So I feel good about this. Yes, naturally, we look at the negative side of it. All these links to Callum Phillips are, are going around. We've suddenly signed Mark Rocker. You know, it's two plus two, getting four, all these different bits and pieces. Um yeah, it's an interesting one. But guys, let us know in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't done already. And hit that subscribe button as well. It massively helps us. And um, and yeah, we'll leave it there anyway, guys. Make sure you check out tomorrow. We will have the final instalment of the player ratings for the forwards. Uh, I tweeted it quite a bit out because me and Phil were generally just having a general chat about um, absolutely nothing at the end of the video. I need to cut that out, to be fair, before I do put it on uh, YouTube because it's just a chat about... Lionel Messi and the Qatar World Cup, I think it was. It was just, we we do have our interesting chats, me and Phil, but I will cut it out and we will have the player ratings for the forwards up tomorrow for you guys. I'm going to leave it there anyway. I've been Oscar. Have a great weekend, guys. And what a start to the weekend it is. Mark Rocker is a Leeds United player. See you later, guys. And thanks very much for watching.